In this video, we are going to show you how to visualize bacteria using a light microscope. Let's begin by taking a gram-stained bacterial film and placing it on the slide holder on the stage of a microscope. For the purposes of this video, we are using an Olympus microscope, but the process is identical for all other microscopes we have in the teaching laboratory. Next, move the slide into the path of light using the XY controllers. Select the 10 times objective and raise the stage to its uppermost point. Then, whilst looking down the microscope, lower the stage until you can see something and bring it into sharp focus using the fine focus dial. Let's review this process whilst looking down the microscope. As we lower the stage, we can see something coming into focus. It's very important to check that this is an item on the slide, and you can do this by moving the XY controller and seeing if the image moves. In this case it doesn't, so we're likely focused on the glass in the objective lens. So let's continue to lower the stage. Here, we now have another image in fine focus. If we move the XY controller, we can see the image move. So this is something on the slide and we can move on to the next step. Remember, at this magnification, you cannot see individual bacterial cells. We only want to get the image into focus so we can move up to the next magnification. At this point, move the 40 times objective into the light path and bring the image into sharp focus using the fine focus dial. This is how the process looks when you look at it down the microscope. Now, we are going to move to the 100 times oil immersion objective. To use this objective, you will need some immersion oil. This can be found in the box next to the sink. Pushing on the blue end will release a drop of oil. Move the 40 times objective out of the light path and place a drop of oil on the slide using the light path as a guide. Then bring the 100 times objective in and give it a bit of a wiggle to spread oil on the lens. Let's look down the microscope and see what's happening. Once the oil has spread, adjust the fine focus dial to bring the image into a sharp focus. So we are now at a magnification where we can see individual bacterial cells. You can use the XY control to navigate around the slide. I recommend going to the edge of the slide where there are fewer cells that are more spread out. So in this case, we can see on the slide gram-positive cocci, which were arranged in clusters, which suggests that we have a member of the genus Staphylococcus. When you are finished with the slide, lower the stage, remove the slide, and use a piece of lens tissue to remove the oil from the objective lens. You can find lens tissue in the boxes at the end of the bench by the window. Now we are going to repeat the process using another gram stain slide and viewing it under the microscope alone. I'm not going to narrate this section as I'd like you to figure out which step of the process I am on by reviewing your workbook and the first part of this video. 
I will discuss the results once we reach the 100 times objective. So we are now at the 100 times objective and we can see individual bacteria coming into sharp focus. As we navigate around the slide, we can see gram-negative rods, which are also referred to as gram-negative bacilli. And that's all there is to using a microscope. It can be very easy when you're starting out to lose your image or forget which step you're at. Please do not worry if this happens to you. There's no harm in starting from the beginning of the process and you are very welcome to ask for help from your demonstrator or from myself whilst you are getting used to the process.